in New York, standing as a haven for the performing arts, it's the beautiful Lincoln Center. In the West, standing as an oasis for the drama and the dance, it's the Los Angeles Music Center. And in beautiful downtown Burbank, standing as a mighty fortress against culture, it's the Burbank Burlesque. Alive and living in beautiful downtown Burbank. Starring Paul Reiner with guest star Bobby Downey and special guest star Burbank's own Miss Goldie Hawn. You say that's not enough, you say you want more? Well, folks, the impresario of this here theater, the lovable Sheldon Leonard, promises much more. In alphabetical order, Nancy Austin, Joe Besser, Bettina Brennan, Jack Burns, George Carl, Eric Christmas, Jerry Collins, Pepper Davis, Sid Gould, David Harris, Barbara Heller, Tommy Morath, Breck Wall, and of course, Henny Youngman and his magic violin. Plus the Burbank Burly Cuties, folks. It's a big show in beautiful downtown Burbank. And here they are, folks. Burbank's own sons of fun, Darren and Reiner. Burlesque is still alive. And that's why we say, oh, Burlesque is alive and living in Burbank. So welcome and how do you do? You lad of theater. Slowly we turn and fasten our gaze on party noses, baggy pants, and wonder haze. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Miss Goldie Hall. <laughs> Since I just got my draft notice. What are we waiting for? Let's go get our physicals. Yeah! <laughs> men immediately at Camp Crazy? Some sort of an emergency? I see. Bob Hope is doing a show and he's only got half an audience. <laughs> well, this is an emergency. Yes, sir, General. I'll draft men no matter what condition they're in. All right, nurse, send in the first inductee. Can <laughs> 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 yeah, I fight you with the garden? <laughs> Doctor, we can't. Of course we can. We'll make him an officer. 
1A, you're in the office. You'll hear from my solicitors about this. Next, sir. This way, sir. <laughs> Why are you, why are you wearing a red dress? Because green clashes with my eyes. God. <laughs> Hold still a minute, dearie. What are you doing? Well, that's the last time I buy lashes from a gypsy. Hey, you're in the army. Hey, you can't take me. I've got a trick knee. You're pretty tricky all over. One, eh? You're in the army. But I won't fit in. You'll fit in. We'll put you in the 163rd Hairdressers Battalion. One A. Out. Savage. Nice, nice. Get him out of here. Walk this Get him way, out. sir. If I could walk that way, I would have enlisted. <laughs> Your name, please. Buck, 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 buck. Buck off. Buck off. Buck off. Is that uh, one pucks or two pucks? Buck, 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 buck. Three pucks. And what is your occupation? I'm a chicken. A chicken? One egg. We'll put you in a chicken out. Buck, 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 buck. No, 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 you can't. Don't take my son. Please don't take my son. Why not? We need the eggs. <laughs> eggs, eggs, eggs. <laughs> crazy to stay out of the army. We got crazier people than you in the Pentagon. The only way you can stay out of this army is if you're too short. Go get the piano. The piano by myself? I said get the piano. Hey, Carl, hey, Carl. I gotta go. Oh, watch this, watch this. Hey, Goldie, Goldie, you want some flowers? Thank you. Sure. <laughs> oh, come on, Goldie, you ruined the whole thing. When somebody does that on a stage, something happens like that, you have to do a take, you know what I mean? Oh, no. No, Carl, Carl, help me out. Ready? <laughs> See, he did a single take. Now I go and do a double take. <laughs> In burlesque, it's a fact when you want to react. Do, do a take. Do a take. You got it. Oh. Cut your work, time and half. It's a guaranteed laugh. Do, do a take. Do a take. Of course. When you catch your best friend kissing your wife, do a take. But make sure your reaction's bigger than life. It's an old man the hills, but it still pays the bills. Do a take. Do a take. Is it nice? Is it clean? Tell me, what does it mean? Do a take. Oh, you big uh, girl. What's a take? Ooh. Is it like a Chinese? Is it like a Chinese take to tell me in the girl? No, Goldie, that's a take out. Don't you know anything? It's so simple, Goldie. Just listen and learn. When you're mad and do a take, a take is called a slow burn. Now it's a word to the wise. It's a thing with the eyes. Do a take. Do a take. Wait a minute, I got it, I got it. Do a take. It's like a wife take. You know, take my wife, please. Oh. oh. It's a single top of wings, bread and freeze. It's a slap point, then banana reel. And slip if you please. Oh, when Duran is insane or a Gleason's in pain. That's a take. Oh, boy, such a take. <laughs> Go double, 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 double,
Remember, I am the boss and you are nothing. Some job a boss over nothing. <laughs> slaving, carrying these sample cases around. She's not even here to greet me. <laughs> you think it's easy being a brick salesman? <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? Where are you? Here Where... I am, Harry! Ah! You knew I was coming home. Why didn't you shave? Harry! <laughs> it's me and my new dyed mink coat. It looks like I died a horrible death. <laughs> Come on. Where'd you get the fur coat? I know where you got it. You've been fooling around. That's where you got the fur coat. Come on, take it off. Take it off. Oh, take how it off. are take you it making? Off. I don't want to know. Just take it off. Take it off. Wow. You think I don't know how men go crazy over that wild body? Where else are they going to find a shape like yours with two backs? <laughs> men with your exotic beauty. I know. You got them hidden out here. No, I'll, Harry, honestly. I'll find them. I'll find them. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. Aha! So, I was right. You've been fooling around. That's why you got the fur coat fooling around. I'll take care of this. I'll take care of this. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the good fairy. <laughs> I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Harry, I admit it. I was... <laughs> I've been seeing him. Where do you think we got that big, shiny, brand new car? Yeah. In the garage from him. And where do you think we got that round-trip ticket to the Bahamas from him? And where do you think we got all the money and the butt and the money and to pay the bills in the house? He did all of that? Oh, Harry, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna cover him up. He'll catch cold. <laughs> Well, here it is, 8 
o'clock, we're ready to shoot our Fokker ballpoint pen commercial, and my big name movie star isn't here as yet. Oh, here she comes now, JB. Good. On stage, Miss Davis Mavis. <laughs> Darling, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm late, late, late. Did you get your mouth caught in a revolving door? Ha, ha, ha. All right, all right, all right. Let's start the commercial. You know the script? Let's get places and roll them. Mark a commercial. Take one. Action. Hello. <laughs> name movie star so naturally I know what's good for you and there's nothing better than a Farker ballpoint pen better because you see it's unbreakable now watch this simple taste <laughs> One more time. What the <laughs> hey? What, one more time? You see, instead of saying, watch the simple test, you said, watch the simple taste. Oh, I'm sorry. That's perfectly all right. Oh. All right, places, please. Roll them. Parker commercial, take two. Action. Hello. I'm a big name movie star. So naturally, I know what's good for you. And there's nothing better than a Parker ballpoint pen. Better because you see, it's unbreakable. Now, watch this simple toast. And look, not a scratch. One more time. What the who? Instead of test, you said toast. Uh, I'm so, so sorry. That's all right, Miss Mavis. We'll take it as many times as you want. All right, places, everybody. You're doing a fine job, Buster. Oh, let me help you. There, forgive me. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. You're giving me a headache, headache, headache. <laughs> Would you mind a little constructive criticism? Why, no, darling. Well, if you make a mistake on the word test, don't hit. Never fear. Mavis is here. I shall say it correctly, you see, before I hit you. There's a good girl. Well, well. Roll him. Parker commercial, take three. You dirty. Action. Hello. I'm a big name movie star. So naturally, I know what's good for you. And there's nothing better than a Parker ballpoint pen. Better because you see, it is unbreakable. Now, watch this simple test. <laughs> and look, not a scrooge. the motion picture apparatus. I am here as a representative of the Mother Jolene Munchy Mocha Milk Chocolate Company. What's that? You say you have never heard of our product, the Mother Jolene Munchy Mocha Milk Chocolate? A good question. And as a special introductory offer, we are giving away free with each and every box of Mother Jolene's Munchy Mocha Milk Chocolate free informative booklets, such as this one, how I won fame and held it by Fernando Lamas. <laughs> I'm tired of being the good guy by Freddie Fields. And of course, this very big one here, for those of you who do travel, this booklet contains a complete, a complete diagram of all emergency exits at the Hotel Dixie in New York City. <laughs> now, I know many of you out there are saying, that's not enough. Very well, my friend, all you have to do is turn to the very back of this booklet, and you will see here, you will see a daring two-color photograph of our most voluptuous exotic dancer, fully dressed, up to the ankle. <laughs> all you have to do, you 
gentlemen in the audience <clears throat> is take this booklet, hold it up, take an ordinary kitchen match, light it, rotate it slowly in a counterclockwise direction, <laughs> and you will see the eighth and ninth wonders of the world. <laughs> if you know what I mean, and I think every adult here does, may I also add, I wish you would not do this until you reach the privacy of your own home or until you are at least 10 blocks from this theater for your own safety and for the safety of Mother Jolene, who has a sister in the convent. All right, now. <laughs> you say you want more. Another good question. Tell you what I am going to do. I have been instructed by Mother Jolene herself to place in each and every box of Mother Jolene's Munchy Mocha Milk Chocolate a valuable free gift, such as this, my friends, a stimulated leather wallet. <laughs> Once used by Broderick Prophet during the filming of Highway Patrol. <laughs> it is the only one of its kind in the world. Now, in 10 of these wallets, you will find a genuine $100 bill. So right now, my assistants will pass among you, and for the measly price, the measly price of 25 cents, you will be the proud owner of your own box of Mother Jolene's Munchy Mocha Milk Chocolate. Now, let's start the sale down there, if you will, please. Yeah, yeah. I'll, ha I'll have a box of Mother Jolene's Munch Mocha Milk Chocolates. All right, now, if you will just stand up and show all the people in the audience, my good man, what you received in your box. A stimulated leather wallet, once used by Broderick Crawford during the filming of Highway Patrol, had a genuine $100 bill. There you are, my friends, another satisfied customer. Now, let's move along, I'd Mr. Like Reynolds. One, please. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, that's nice. Sure, just my luck. You got a nice wallet and I got a lousy piece of chocolate. I never saw anything like it in my life. That's my luck. I once bought a suit with two pair of pants and my doll and a coat. <laughs> I never had any luck in my life. I never saw anything like it in my life. You, you, what did you get? Are you eating chocolates too with the hundred dollar bill you get the chocolate? <laughs> was at his side to gather hand in hand but Guinevere had roving eyes and caused a royal row by falling for the night errant shh here comes Queenie na ha ha Oh, the jousting's in the south. 
isn't home from work yet. <laughs> Say, isn't that my husband, the comedian, knocking on the door now? <laughs> Get your mind off the girl, <laughs> you dirty. <laughs> happened to me on my way home. A panhandler stopped me and said, give me a dime. So I got him a dime. He let me handle his pans. How dare you come home late? I sit at home and slave all day, and what are you doing? You with your carousing, your philandering, and your high living. High living, high living. I come from a family of high livers. My grandfather had to live at three feet high. Besides, I wanted you home early tonight. This is my night to go to Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers, Weight Watchers, diet. I know a man was on a harpers diet. He's so skinny, he slipped right through the harp. Now you listen to me. Wait for me. Wait for the rim shot. I'll give you a rim shot right across the mouth. And I'll bet you forgot that today is our anniversary. 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 That comes under the marriage file. You hear about the guy who was married so many times he had rice marks on his face? <laughs> no bump bump. Not even the barump? You take the bump? How about a cannibal court? Something. Hey, I got a better one. You hear about the couple married 30 years? They're still holding hands. They let go, they'll kill each other. That when you give up a rump pump for? Why don't you go in the bathroom and wash your mouth out with taste? Taste, taste. That reminds me of Oh, I'm finished. sick and tired of your jokes. I'm sick and tired of this marriage. What kind of a life is this? Sleeping three in a bed. You, me, and the drummer. Oh, I've had it. This isn't a marriage, it's a monologue. I've had it up to here. Do you hear me? And I'm on my way out right now. Die! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Die! Die! You hear a man who died while he was looking at the picture, I'm curious yellow, and took the undertaker three days to wipe the grin off his face? No <laughs> bump bump. He just died. What's so new? He died in Cleveland, he died in Pittsburgh. Yeah, but, but I'm out of a job. I'm not out of a job. You're working for me. I open in Buffalo tomorrow night. Buffalo? Buffalo? Buffalo. Do you know what a buffalo is? A cow with a gland condition. <laughs> At last, my own barump pump. Don't just stand there. Now, now, now. Go, go, oh, go don't now. rush me. <laughs> Great pleasure in presenting Mr. Bobby Darren. Oh, the shark babe has such teeth there. And it shows you. Hey, hey, hey. Hold it. What, what, what? Who are you? What? I said, who are you? I am the king of the gypsies. Well, why are you wearing that earring in your ear? I'm also the queen of the gypsies. <laughs> What? Where's the complaint department? The complaint department? Who are you? I'm Portnoy. <laughs> oh, the shark baby has such teeth here. And he shows... Well, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What, where are you going? To a board meeting. <laughs> okay, and who are you? I'm the chairman. <laughs> oh, the shark baby has such teeth here. Pardon me, do you know how to kiss a duck without getting feathers in your mouth? No. <laughs> but you gotta be fast. <laughs> oh, the shark, baby. <laughs> oh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the matter with you? I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> oh, the shark, baby. Oh, Has such deep. No, no. Wait a minute. No! What's the matter? Who's that? Well, that's me. Oh, thank heavens, I thought it was me. <laughs> oh, the shark. All right, lady, who are you? I'm a Weight Watcher. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Where do you think you're going with that pole? I can't tell you. On this show, we don't do any jokes about poles. <laughs> oh, the shark babe has such teeth. Hey, where are you going? Over there. 
Oh, the shark bait. And, all right, you're not gonna fool me, kiddo. No, sir, I know where you're going. You're going to Boulder Dam. Uh, no, I'm forming a rock group. <laughs> oh, the shark bait has such deep din and it shows... Oh, what happened? The rock group broke up. <laughs> I was just in a dress. I was just in a dress. You're in a dress. Wait, wait, wait. Well, you, wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Take it easy. I just went out. I, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, I was out. Uh, you all right, all right. Don't say it. Sing it. Da -da 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 -da. We were robbed. <laughs> oh, the... I did it. I, I really did it. I invented the automobile. Well, what's your name? Henry Ford. I'm on my way to the patent office. Taxi. <laughs> Well, what happened, lady? Somebody stole my truck. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Somebody wake that man up. This ain't an army training film, mister. I gotta say one thing, Funky. You sure know how to double up a theater. <laughs> ah, come on, don't touch me, dingbat. Sweetheart, pull your skirt down just a teeny tiny bit. I'm seeing smoothies in here. Ah! Oh, the line falls on the right vein. Now that Maggie's back in town. seek out just the proper voice for our radio announcing. Right now, the Burbank Burlesque proudly takes you to your local radio station where the announcing auditions are to begin. Well, there it is, 8 o'clock, and it's time for the announcing auditions to begin. That is what she said, isn't it? Yes, of course. Now, you fellas understand that in order to be a good announcer, you have to have clear and distinct diction. Diction! Uh, first audition, you, sir. Step right yes, this way. Sir. Okay. Right. Uh, very good, sir. Very good. Now, just just read this script and may the best mouth win. All righty. No, sir. No, sir, not at all. You see, it's diction. Diction. Oh. Good. And now, the tantalizing rhythms of Roy Smeck and his orchestra playing. By the time I get to... Oh, what was that? She'll be waiting. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. What was that? By the time I get to... She'll be waiting. There it is again. You're having problems. Yes, I have trouble with one letter in the alphabet. What's a, that? B, C, D, E. <laughs> well, sir, I can fix that problem. You see, every time you speak, your eye tooth is blinking. I never thought of that before. <laughs> yes, well, all you have to do is, when you talk, hold your cheek. Now, read it again, please. All righty. <laughs> Here's Sylvia Sweet Cream to sing, Say It Isn't So. Well, now you've cured your F, but you're having trouble with your S. <laughs> How about poor butter? No, oh, <laughs> sit down, sit down. Go to the Now. Next. I want the next. Yes, you are the next thrilling audition, aren't you? Yes. Just read that very clearly and remember your diction, please. Hi out there, radio fans. Excuse this me, excuse is me. Jerry. You'll, excuse me, you'll have to face the microphone. Huh? What was that? <laughs> what was that? I thought I heard something. I'll read from the top, please. Hi out there, radio fans. This is Jerry Collins. I'm going closer to the mic, please. Huh? 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 Do you always do that? Only when I talk. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Do me a favor, give the kid another chance. He's my friend. Sit down! <laughs> Next! <laughs> Would you just uh, stand here and very clearly... Stand here and very clearly enunciate, eh? Just enunciate. Why'd you tell <laughs> 
All you have to do is read the script, please. <laughs> Meh! What was that? <laughs> Meh! Where did that come from? Well, you see, sir, when I was a little kid, yes. I was in the Bronx Zoo. I see. And I lost my mother. Oh, I'm sorry. And I said, I want my nanny. Oh. And I got rammed in the rear with a goat. With a goat, huh? Man! <laughs> Sir, I never heard that before. Huh? Man! <laughs> Next! Now, I hope you don't have a speech impediment. No, sir. Not on your... <laughs> Come again? I said not on your... <laughs> Why are you barking like a dog? We couldn't afford a goat. Oh, oh, easy, easy. I'm sorry I asked. Here's something to eat for you, Rover. Nice dog. He's a nice dog. He's going to sit down. On the paper. Yes, there you go. I like dogs. They're man's best friend. <laughs> for an hour, so I get four dum-dums. You guys make sounds worse than some of those recording groups that we play on the air. Recording groups we play on the air? What? Oh, lo and behold, I have an idea. Wait, we can make a million dollars. They're always looking for weird sounds. Guys, stand up, stand up. Every time I point to you, you do your thing. Are you ready? Here we go. Good evening. Tonight, the Burbank Burlesque proudly presents its salute to the arts. This week's award goes to television, a medium that we think has done almost as much for culture as we have. Let's face it, folks, who else could have brought us Hee Haw? And so this evening, we proudly present the Looney Lafferty Award to Mission Impossible. <laughs> you never saw anything like it. I'm so lucky I once bought a suit with two pairs. I'm knocking it off. I'm trying to watch the pageantry. <laughs> Here it is, eight o'clock in the jungle. The sun is about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, the sun is about to go down yet. My not too bright but lovely daughter, Tandaleo, is not married yet. Now, that's not too much plot, is it, folks? <laughs> Back to the elephant pit! Oh, great chief, it is I, your witch doctor. Which doctor? Which doctor you expect? 
What? What are you doing with golf clubs, witch doctor? All doctors play golf on Wednesday. <laughs> Almighty Chief, I have just captured Great White Hunter. Good. Bring in Great White Hunter. Put me down. Put me down. Put me down. That's the ugliest Great White Hunter I ever seen. That's a good put down. You wouldn't have captured me if I hadn't run on a buckshot. How you do that? Oh, uh, you know, buckshot here, buckshot there. It goes. You have one more chance to live. You must marry my daughter, Tandaleo. Well, well you see, Chief, that's very nice of you. But I want you to know that after all, you know, anybody... <laughs> you got dandy eyes. Ooh, who put that building up there? <laughs> Oh, she's beautiful. I'll accept your offer. Not so fast. First, you must take test. <laughs> I don't think I'll pass the physical. <laughs> it is custom of tribe. You must take Tandaleo up to Treehouse and Mommy Palava her three times. <laughs> Mommy Palava what? Mommy Palava means kiss in television. <laughs> Come here, Minnie. You want Tandaleo kiss you three times, me sell you magic potion. Potion? <laughs> Mommy Palava, number five. <laughs> Mommy Palava, number five? Promise her anything, but give her Mommy Palava. <laughs> How does it work? Here, take this and waft it under her nose three times. She'll do anything. Close it, close it. Here, I'll take it, I'll take it. Here's the money, here's the money. Easy, easy. That's my only daughter. Tandaleo, you want to go up there, up there, up there, up there, up there? Huh? <laughs> I said, you do want to go uh, up, 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 up there in the treehouse? Up in the treehouse with you? I should say not. What the heck's the matter with you? <laughs> Come on, don't go around. I said no. Oh, Tandaleo, don't you want to go up, 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 up there in the treehouse? Huh? Come on, get your enchilada up in the treehouse. How oh, dare you? You expect me to go up in a treehouse with you? What kind of a girl do you think I am? And do you think I go up in a treehouse with just anyone? You've got some nerve. You have got some gall. You've got, you've got dandy eyes. Oh, you got somebody. Small wedding, just the immediate drive. We make big ceremony, fix good dinner, shop missionary on Ritz cracker, maybe some stewed Republican. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> did, did she give you a mommy palava? She give me palava. Now I want my money. <laughs> Fairbank Burlesque proudly presents the exotically irresistible Miss Vilda Haya. Back. 
build it, be careful of shaking it, you'll break it. <laughs> build it, we, we, we may have a raid on it, you keep, I like this building. Believe me, oh, you scared me, Phil. <laughs> Holidays, the 4th of July, Miss Cherry Bob. 